There is a famous legend about the execution of Thomas Cromwell, my chief minister. It goes something like this. The nobles of England had always hated Cromwell, hated him with a passion. They thought that somebody who had been born so low down, he was the son of a brewer, um, how on earth he could rise so high. Actually, he'd been made Earl of Essex just a few weeks earlier to his execution. And they were delighted at his downfall. They were the masterminds behind it, to be honest. However, the legend goes that the night before his execution, they took the executioner out on the town and they got him drunk, really drunk. So much so that they locked him in a cellar and the next morning, when it came to Cromwell's execution on Tower Hill, executioner was nowhere to be found. So the executioner's assistant, a young boy, probably about 11 or 12 years of age, had to do the job. The boy's hands allegedly were shaking as he raised the axe. And according to legend, it took six blows to remove Cromwell's head.